Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are continuing our underrated weapon series with a gun that at first I did not think was actually underrated. For the longest time I thought this gun right here was actually pretty terrible, but a couple people in the comments actually mentioned something that changed my mind on it. And that rifle is the 3030 and one of the reasons I never looked at this as an underrated weapon is because I kind of viewed it as it would be in real life. I was thinking of it as a deer rifle when in Call of the Wild, that's not really what it's aimed towards. This rifle is much more focused towards stuff like Bobcat, Coyote, Fox, things like that. A lot of the smaller games. So I figured it's only fair that we use it against stuff like that. And because of that, I do feel like I judge this gun a bit unfairly because it's not necessarily meant to take down things like a white-tailed deer or a mule deer. Though it can go clear up to those classes, it's not necessarily meant for them. So I think we're going to go for some bobcat today. And then obviously we will go for a few of the larger animals as well. Uh, but we are back on Rancho Del Arroyo because of the fact that I feel like it's just fitting to use a lever action on a map like Rancho. And a lot of you have requested a cowboy loadout in the past, so I guess this gives you guys a little bit of that as well. But that is a pretty good bobcat to start things out with, so let's get to about 150 meters and see if we can get this thing down. Alright, so we are exactly 150 meters away, and this is the max zeroing distance for the 3030, so let's see how it does at its maximum range. I do want to try out both different types of ammo today, just to see if there's any benefit to using the hollow points over the soft points, so... We will uh, kind of test that out, but this is going to be our first shot of the day, and it's on a pretty awesome Mexican Bobcat. I don't know what just happened, but that was not good. Second shot looks solid, though. Something's wrong with these Bobcats, which really doesn't surprise me. Bobcats are kind of buggy like the Lynx are. You know, since these ones are deciding to bug out, let's actually go ahead and use the 3030 hollow points as well. Just to see if there's much of a difference in kill time and- oh, it's uh, running now. But honestly, I think we can probably still get a shot in there if we're lucky. There we go, second time's the charm on that one. And it looks like we didn't get vitals. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. It was kind of a weird shot to take. And on that note, I decided to go back to the soft points. We will test the hollow points later in the video, but I do want to get a little bit of a comparison between all of the soft point ammunition uh, first, or I guess I should say the soft point ammunition on all the different species before we switch over to the hollow points. And that is a pretty impressive shot. Got double long on it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Using the 3030 on something like a Bobcat is actually not bad at all. Uh, provided it actually hits. I'm not exactly sure what went on there. I'm wondering if it was just uh, the hitboxes being weird on the Bobcats, which honestly that does seem to be the case because it happened on both of them and then the follow-up shots were almost identical distance and they ended up hitting. So it's got to be something weird with the Bobcat hitboxes. All right, so we got ourselves a couple level six Bobcat right here and they're much closer than the other one was. So, let's go ahead and try to zero to 100 and see if we can get a shot into one of these. There's actually a 7 right there, so let's take the 7 instead. And, wow, that dropped it. Much more impressive, and there's actually a couple more up there. If we could get a spot on those as well, that would be great. Because I do want to check to see if there's any good ones here. We are in multiplayer, so you never know what we might end up finding. Well, since these guys are being kind of weird, we might as well try to get a shot into this little dude. And yeah, that looks solid to me. Oh yeah, he's definitely going down. And that pushed this other one out into the open a little more, so I think we can spot it. It is, as well, a six, so... I guess it's just all level sixes here. Might as well get that guy down, also. I wish we had been able to spot the last one, but unfortunately it just did not want to come out into the open, so... Let's go ahead and just pick up these. This should be our level 7 right here. Yeah, this is our level 7. So we ended up getting liver, stomach, left lung, and right lung. And it absolutely dropped it on the spot. Honestly, it's got really good penetration on the Bobcats. I'm kind of impressed. And now we've got these two up here and... 
for some reason I can't oh there we go now I can grab it it wouldn't let me pick it up for a second but that was a right lung liver and stomach shot and that took it out decently fast so we didn't get the second lung in this shot but it still went down pretty quickly and this guy right here I believe was the one that died the slowest and this was a stomach liver left lung so we're hitting a lot of organs every single time which is kind of impressive I'm honestly really happy that this is doing good because I never had looked at the 3030 as a small game rifle I had always looked at it as a deer rifle and I think that's what kind of skewed my judgment on it and made me think that it was a terrible gun but I had a lot of you guys saying that it was actually pretty decent and so I figured we would give it a shot and I am pleasantly surprised at how well it does on something the size of a bobcat so before we get any further in this video if you guys want to see another episode of underrated weapons be sure to hit that like button and get us to 300 likes with this series every time we hit 300 likes we do another underrated weapons video so if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more of these hit that like button and get us to 300 not only does it let me know that you guys really enjoy the videos, but it also helps the video do better, which in turn helps the channel out. And I really do appreciate all of the support. I am honestly extremely blessed to have such an awesome viewer base like all of you guys. And I honestly just can't thank you guys enough for all of the amazing support and interaction with the videos and all of the awesome comments. I do read through all of them. I may not respond to all of them because it would be kind of uh, difficult to respond to every comment that I get, but I do my best to at least respond to the majority of them and at the very least read them all and give a heart to a lot of the comments. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Keep them coming. I'll try to respond to as many of them as I can and thank you guys so much for all the support. All right, so we shot three or four bobcats and I think it's time to try and take out a white tailed deer with 3030 because this is what I've shot quite a few of with the 3030 in the past and they were the reason why I didn't really think this gun was that great but after seeing what it did to the Bobcats I think I've changed my mind on the 3030 I feel like I better understand what it's meant to take down so just to kind of compare let's see what it does to this white tail deer let's go ahead and try to get a shot in there actually get two of them since we can and yeah, he hasn't even started losing HP. He's just now starting to lose it. So it kills slower than the 6.5 on something like a whitetail. Kills slower than the 6.5, slower than the 270. I think even slower than the 243 in the Mosin, which is kind of why I never really saw this as being a good gun. But honestly, it wasn't that bad against the Bobcats. So I definitely think that the place for this gun is not in the uh, as a deer rifle but as more of a small game rifle which I guess is kind of what it's classed for in the first place being a, a class 2 to 6 rifle like the 243 but honestly if you ask me I think both the 3030 and the 4570 need a bit of a power buff because their real life counterparts are much more powerful than they are in game which is a little bit unfortunate because in real life I think of both the 4570 and the 3030 as being really good rifles but in game they both kind of lack in power which is definitely unfortunate but I'm sure that in the future they will get a bit of a buff especially if enough of us uh, ask the developers to do so as we've seen in the past a lot of times if many of us have the same opinion and share it online for the developers to see they tend to tweak things towards what everybody thinks they should be so I feel that if we say that we want the lever actions buffed a little bit maybe one of these days they will do so because I would really like to use them on stuff like whitetail deer. I'd love to be able to hunt whitetail and blacktail with the 3030 and have it do much better than it currently does. And considering their limited range, I think it would make sense to buff the power level a little bit. But honestly, this didn't do terrible. It almost got into a second lung, but sadly, it just doesn't quite have the penetration at that distance. We'll have to test it out a little bit closer, but at least at that range, it does not do uh, super great on a whitetail deer. And it was the exact same with this one right here. So there is one thing that I really wanted to test out because I remember a long time ago somebody mentioned that this was actually a viable option. So we're going to try the hollow point ammunition on a whitetail deer and just see if it kills any quicker. I mean, technically it should since we get single lung regardless and these have more expansion. So, 
that should be good right there. It should take it down a little bit quicker than the soft point would, and I think it might be. Maybe. It's still killing it very slow, but I mean, at the very least, maybe it's doing it slightly faster. Well, it still ran a uh, very long way, as you guys can see. This is about where we shot it, and it ran all the way over here, which is about 120 meters, roughly. So, it still ran a very long way. But, I think it might have done a little bit better. I mean, if it did, it wasn't that much of a difference, so I don't think we'll re really worry about using the hollow points too much. They seem to be virtually the same as the soft point ammunition. Oh, oh my gosh. Albino? Oh my gosh. Um, We gotta chase this down. <laughs> I just joined another server because it was at Bobcat time, and I saw that nobody had been hunting down here. And that is, that is the track of an albino Mexican Bobcat. Oh my gosh. I never thought I would ever find one of these. We gotta figure out where it even is. It could honestly be anywhere around here. So let's just remember this spot right here, just in case we need to come back for the track. That is incredible. It should be drinking around this lake, I would imagine. There was a level 5 over here, but it was, I believe, the brown fur type, so it's definitely not that one. This is incredible. We gotta find this thing. I'm gonna be very sad if we can't. And unfortunately, it's at the end of their drink time as well, so... I don't even know if we're gonna be able to chase this thing down the way that I would like to. If all else fails, I'm just gonna stay in this server until we can get this thing down. Until the host leaves or something like that. We gotta make sure we get this thing. Is that it? That's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. That That is definitely it. Uh, let's try to get its attention. I don't want this thing to get away. That is so cool. And you know, I'm incredibly happy I chose to do the 30-30 today, because otherwise I would not have gone for Bobcats. Okay, it's about 150 away now. We can make this shot. We can definitely make this shot right here. Let's uh, do our best to steady. There we go, we got it. Oh my gosh. Albino Mexican Bobcat on the ground. A trophy I thought I would never see. That is so cool. I cannot believe we actually found this. And what's crazy is they look almost like the commons, but they're just a little bit brighter than them. That is just an awesome trophy. Albino Mexican Bobcat. Well, this guy has to go in a multi-mount. We need to find ourselves a really good coyote now and put this guy in a mount with it. That is so awesome. I never thought I would find something like this. And we ended up getting right lung, stomach, and liver. That's crazy that by far the coolest bobcat I've ever killed, I took with the 30-30. I never thought that would be a thing, but sure enough, we just got ourselves an albino bobcat with the 30-30. And that is a level 7 bobcat. Let's uh, just real quickly not use the 300 magnum on it like I was about to, but take this thing out with the 30-30 as it's getting stuck. If it will just... Yeah, there we go. I think we hit a little bit far back, but it'll uh, definitely go down. Honestly, it's pretty difficult to hit these bobcats when they're kind of glitching out, even when you're pretty close to them. And wow, that just barely missed. It was just barely too far back. That is a level 7 brown. And I do really like the brown uh, bobcats. I'd like to eventually get one of them because they look pretty awesome. But frankly, nothing is going to compare to that little albino that we just killed. I honestly don't think there's any way that we top that trophy in this video. So... At this point, I'm basically just looking for a couple more things to uh, test the gun out on, and actually, that's going to be something good to try it out on. Let's uh, see if we can get a shot on this javelina. I think that was vitals. Yeah, it definitely was. So, honestly, it doesn't do too bad on the javelina. Considering it did terrible on a whitetail deer and javelina are also class 4, I didn't think it would actually kill them that quickly, but... I'd say it's not that bad on them. 
And that was a stomach liver double lung, so uh, maybe I spoke too soon. I guess stomach liver double lung would do pretty decent. Question is, does double lung do good? Well, there's a coyote. If we can get this thing to calm down, that's going to be our first chance to try and take out one of these guys. And I definitely want to see how it does. Now, unfortunately, this one's being kind of stubborn. And you guys might also notice that we are on a nighttime server now. That's because I ended up changing servers. And I was going to leave this one because it was at a time where there's literally nothing drinking. But I looked at the level of the host and it's a level 4. So this server might actually be pretty good. It could be very unhunted. So hopefully we can find something good because of that. But... That, uh, Kyo's not really wanting to cooperate, so I think we're going to pass up on him, but this spot's got no need zones, so I'm thinking there could be some pretty cool stuff up at the hot spot, so let's go check. Well, there we have it. There's a few coyotes. I think we should easily be able to get a shot on one of these, and we're definitely going to target that level 7 considering it is the best one of the group. But I'm glad we finally found some coyotes that are actually in a decent spot that we can at least try and take out. Alright, we now got this little guy to go alert, so let's go ahead and zero to 150 and hopefully we can actually hit this. It's going to be kind of hard using this type of a crosshair in the dark, but I think we should be able to if it would uh, just stop doing whatever that was. <laughs> and it's going right back to its eating animations. Uh, not the type of thing we're wanting it to do, so let's uh, see if we can get it to go alerted again. And yeah, there we go. That should have been good. It's hard to say, though. It was a little bit of a weird distance considering we were 0 to 150. Yeah, it's not dying. That's uh, not good. Let's see if we can get a second in there. Yep, that one did the trick, so uh, that went much better than the first shot. Here's our little coyote. Let's actually see where we hit. So the first shot was quite a bit low and the second one managed to get double lung heart. So probably would not have dropped it if we hadn't hit the heart, but at least it was able to get double lung. And we have some bighorn sheep up here, so we might as well try to get a shot on one of them as well just to give the 3030 a wide variety of targets to try and take down. So we can kind of see what it does best. It definitely didn't do good on Whitetail, but it did great on things like the Bobcat and the Javelina. So let's see about something like a Bighorn that's kind of in between the two. Unfortunately, they just don't want to go broadside. So I think we're just going to have to deal with an angle like this. And at least see if it does half decent. Hey, it actually did. That did get into a lung. It's actually kind of surprising. Ooh, there's actually a perfect opportunity to try and take out a mule deer as well. This is something I was wanting to test it on at some point, so... Let's just let one fly. And see how it does on her. Probably not going to do great. But we do need to try and take down as many different things as we can. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the host just changed the time. Uh, which means we're at least going to be able to see... We did find our bighorn and we ended up getting single lung. It didn't run too far to be honest, uh, the tracking distance is being weird because I did actually grab the track so you would have thought it would have counted it but it didn't but honestly it didn't do too bad on a bighorn so it did better than on the whitetail but still not great I guess that's the best way to put it. Well, unfortunately, we were not able to get that mule deer because when the host changed time, all the tracks disappeared and I have no idea where it even went off to. So, sadly, we were not able to go find that mule deer and see what the damage was like. But let's be honest, it died very, very slow, so it's pretty clear how that went. So, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. But, before we do end, let's jump into the lodge and take a look at that awesome albino. So for now, this little guy is just going to sit here, but eventually I want to put it in a multi-mount with a diamond coyote or a rare coyote. Unfortunately, right now we don't really have anything that it can go with. We have the diamond that we messed up, but that's in a different multi-mount. And we have our pie ball, but that one was a female, which can't even go in the mount with the bobcat. So as of now, this is where this one's going to sit. But I do eventually want to get it in an appropriate multi-mount just because I feel like this thing deserves it. But that is such an awesome trophy, and 
I honestly cannot be happier with the way this hunt went. We did a lot of uh, testing with the 3030 and got a lot of awesome results with it when it comes to the Bobcats and smaller game like that. So I definitely have a new view on the 3030. I don't necessarily see it as being a terrible deer rifle anymore, though it is pretty bad at hunting deer. I now view it as more of a decent small game weapon. But as I was saying earlier in the video, if we get to 300 likes on this one, we will do another episode of Underrated Weapons. So let me know what guns that you guys think are underrated down in the comments below. And if there's a very commonly suggested one, then we might check that out in the next one. But with that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another video. Also, be sure to comment down below like I was saying, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!